Sorry, I was talking, but I just got interrupted by a bunch of uh, Croatian tourists asking me for directions. So, uh, what was I saying? Yes, let's start from scratch. This is Olivier Blanchard, the Grand Builder. I am uh, still in France as I'm shooting this, even though I'm catching a plane in a couple of hours. So by the time you see this, I'll be back in the US and regular blogging hours will have uh, uh, resumed. I can't even think in English anymore. So, uh, while I was here, and even though I tried to do as little work as possible, this was a true vacation, hadn't had one in years, uh, there's one thought that keep, kept coming to me, and actually a lot of them, but this one in particular. And uh, the, the French use social media very differently from the way Americans do, and it's not so much a question of uh, being a couple of years behind, as a lot of people believe, both in the U.S. and both in France. Though the French are not behind in social media adoption. The French are exactly where they need to be with social media adoption. It's just different populations, different cultures, different markets adapt at different rates and different ways to these developments, to these evolutions. So the, the French are evolving exactly at the pace that they need to evolve at. And the same is true of pretty much any other culture, whether it's a customer culture, whether it's an industry culture, or whether it's a corporate culture. And so there's really not, uh, even though we'd like everyone to adopt social media immediately and everybody to be experts and everyone to be really comfortable and fluent with it, the, the truth of the matter is that people will reach social media adoption or social media fluency when they're good and ready. And uh, even though those are pain points for a lot of us who work in the industry and help companies integrate social media into what they're doing, that's still the reality of the thing. And in a way it's good because I guess it guarantees that we'll have work in a few years, even though I'd, I'd really like to move on and, and not deal with social media as much as I do now and go back to brand management that encompasses social media usage. But that's neither here nor there. So the, the really big thing here isn't so much to focus too much on learning how to use Twitter, learning how to use Facebook and Foursquare and, and, uh, and blogs and whatever other platform you want to use. The trick is to really go back to understanding your business, understanding what your role is, understanding what makes you different, understanding your importance. So all, all the precepts of brand management and brand development, right? Um, and, and also understanding what it is, not so much what you're trying to accomplish as a company, what your objectives and your goals are, which are, are you know internally focused, but also to start looking at again and again, and really do this on a daily basis if you can, understand what your customers are trying to accomplish, what your users are trying to accomplish, and how you can improve their lives, improve their experience, uh, facilitate whatever it is that they're trying to do by providing them with what they need. Uh, whether it's a, a better driving experience, a faster checkout at the store, a better selection, uh, you know, whatever it is, whatever makes you you, whatever makes you successful, whatever makes your cut your uh, competitors successful that you'd like to emulate or you know kind of bypass. So the, the trick, again, isn't to learn how to use Twitter like a pro. Somebody on your staff can do that, or you can hire somebody to help you figure that out. The first step before you get to that is really trying to understand your business. Understand your business before you understand social media. That's it. You want to understand your business. If you can do that, if you can really understand who you are and where you fit in and where you need to go, then you can back your way tactically into what how social media can help you accomplish those goals, how, how social media can help you fill the gaps and get there. Okay? So it's really, really important. Focus on the tools last. All right, try to, to avoid the lure of trying to create a, a Twitter page, uh, trying to create a Facebook page and a Facebook destination, create a blog, plug that all into your business, and then realize, oh, well, what do we do with it? There's no value in that. Understand your business first, social media second, and then hopefully everything will work. All right, I've got a plane to catch, gotta take off. I'm gonna miss this, but here, you know what? I'm gonna show you where I have been hanging out. Hold on, I've gotta take my camera off the thing. There we go. So this is where I am, this is Ken. It's a nice view from the Suke, which is, uh, actually I'm right below the Suke, which is kind of like a fortified church. Well, there's a church and a fort. And this is the, uh, the Bay of Ken. That big structure right here is the Palais des Festivals. That's where they have the uh, Cannes Film Festival and the Cannes Lions, among many other conferences. And the Cannes Lions were just here last week. And here's part of the fort and the church of the Suquet. Oh, and by the way, thanks Foursquare. I am the mayor of Cannes. I am the mayor of the Suquet. I'm the mayor of the Closette. I conquered you. All right, bye.